All right, with Arizona football, good vibes all the way around. It's hard to really tell. Speedy Luke was getting, my guy fam, was getting quite a little bit of burn out there. One thing that uh, I think is very fair to say as well is that the tight end is definitely going to be utilized in this offense, Jason Shear. Yeah, I mean, right now, Speedy Luke is the number one running back, or at least he was uh, today at practice. There's probably him and Conley, and then uh, Jacory's not here yet. I assume that he'll be number one back or up there. And um, yeah, like they have a very talented tight end room. Uh, right. Roberto Miranda was starting on blocking schemes, and then they went to Burnett, and then they had Tyler Powell and kind of making their way through that room. And it was fun. It was nice to get out and, and watch football again. All right, now Chris Hunter had some highlights. He's been making a little bit of a been making a little bit of run. Justin Spears, very big fan of Chris Hunter. What have we seen from Chris Hunter at the wide receiver spot? He he's a. I mean, he was there last year, and he makes super athletic catches and one handed grabs. It's just a matter of consistency with him. Like you got to make as many simple routes as you do fantastic catches. Um, he's got talent. I mean, the yeah. talent is is absolutely there. It's just a matter of making it consistent and doing all the right things beyond that. All right. Now I do believe that, uh, I do believe this team. And again, we were talking about this was we were sitting there. I think one thing about this team is that they should 100% be in. Let's just, let's just call it the way it is. They, this team offensively should be very, very good. There is absolutely no reason for this team not to be good offensively just because they check off every, every box. We already know what Noah Fafita. We already know that the wide receiver room is very talented. Fam, Speedy Luke. You've obviously, Quali Conley will be there. And then obviously you got your Corey, the wide or four of five uh, uh, offensive linemen are coming back. This is a this is a deep unit. This is a squad that should be very very good on the offensive side of the football. Yeah, I don't see why not. I mean, the offensive line. I, I think they're still moving things around. Uh, they had Jonah today at tackle, uh, and then they had Deuce at guard. I know the last staff was going to have Deuce at tackle, but they're moving some things around. I don't think that's set yet. Um, offensively, you know, like the blocking scheme is different. Uh, I have an interview with with Josh Oglesby that'll be coming out next week where basically they're, they're more aggressive on the line instead of sitting and blocking. They want to get you downhill and kind of moving that direction. But um, you look at wide receivers, they're rotating them way more. I mean, T-Mac's going to be on the field at all times, but we saw multiple wide receivers just going in and out and trying to get the best look for them. And there's a lot of talent on, on that side of the ball. And, and I don't expect there to be much of a drop off from last season, if any. Yeah, I don't, and, there, and let's be honest, there shouldn't be a drop off because again, you lose Jacob Cowing, that's obviously a loss, but there's a lot of dudes on this team that I think are capable of being able to step into that spot. At tight end, Tanner McLaughlin, obviously a loss as well, but there's also guys that, I mean, just there is a lot of depth on the offensive side of the football. And I think that's something that uh, Arizona fans need to, uh, you know, you should have high expectations for this unit because going into the Big 12, I don't know that there's an offense. Actually, I do know this. There isn't an offense that I would rather have than uh, than the Arizona from a personnel standpoint. Yeah, I mean, look, it, and, you know, it, it's you're not going to play replace Tanner McLaughlin with one guy, but there's right. nothing to say you can't replace him with a few guys. You're probably not going to replace Jacob Kelling with one guy, but if Kevin Green puts up a really good year and a couple other guys have a good year, you're still late. You're still matching the production, right? Right. And and I think that's where Arizona has some depth. And Jed wasn't big on depth on the offensive side of the ball. Right. He, he basically didn't believe in it. Like he played two running backs, maybe three in, in certain situations. Um, and and your wide receivers were your wide receivers, and Tanner was your tight end, and that was that. And and it feels like maybe it's just the coaching staff getting a closer look at everyone, but it feels like that'll be different and they'll be rotating a little bit more. Right now, on, on, we're going to get back to the defensive side of the football a little bit later on. But defensively, it's going to be fascinating because, again, Takario Davis, that's the one person that everybody's asking about. Takario Davis has been fully uh, active in everything. Listen, with the way the portal is, you can obviously get up and leave. But I think Takario Davis is certainly giving this the college try to see how this works. And, you know, you got to be optimistic about it. Yeah, I mean, Takario said it too. He wanted to give this staff a chance. And if after spring he decides he doesn't like the coaching staff, I'm going to watch him, kid. But uh, it was a big deal for him not to transfer right away and to give this coaching staff a chance. And I'm sure Washington is on his butt and is going to make him another offer after the portal season when that opens again. And Arizona is going to have to hold on to him and all that. But uh, I think it's admirable that 
He's giving Arizona a look. He's a very big part of the defense. And, uh, yeah, I mean, right with the portal, you can't say anyone's guaranteed to stay. You just don't know what's going to happen. You don't know what offer is going to come along. But right now, uh, Takario is, is an Arizona Wildcat. So far, so good.